Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, welcome to Discorder TV, the show with everything that some of us like. I was playing a show at the Waldorf on my own and um, came to do my sound check. Brittany was there. I was in school for music production at the time too, so I was just kind of desperate for another woman to make music with. I was the only woman in my class, mm. so I was like, I just want to do <clears throat> something that's a little bit left of center, you know? I was really, really particular about what I wanted to say, and then also in the production. It was much more rigorous. <laughs> we were like really meticulous. Everything was like quite intentional. The mixing and mastering we like took super seriously this time as well. We mixed it with this, uh, this guy called Adam V, who was really awesome, and we spent like hours in, um, in the studio. You know, the obsession with your social media, and not that we totally hate that, but it's just like a... It's highly present in our day-to-day -day mm -hmm. lives. How can you be present when you're just looking at yourself all the time? How do I, how do I find the, pr the sense of self and the sense of presence and warmth when it feels like there's nothing there? The ones that are out right now and the ones that we're about to put out are just like deeply personal and very vulnerable sounding. Even though it, you can feel so like horrible about yourself and about the choices you make in your life, by making that song, you, you made something worthwhile, something that is helping your career, something that's made you feel good, something mm -hmm. that sounds Something beautiful. that gets you away it's, from that. Yeah, it's yeah. meditative. When you make something from that, it's like, well, then there is beauty in that, you know? And you can make really amazing, beautiful things in a really f fucked up place. Which can be the only thing that can bring you out of that sometimes. Yeah. If you want, you can do anything. You can make anything, and especially as women, you know? We do all the production, all the writing, all the recording. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's really, like, our female audience can be empowered by that and we want other women to be making all of their own music as well. I, I want to do stuff that supports women and like I think it is really important especially when it comes down to like technically and the sh shit that happens behind the scenes like you need to be in control because it's so easy to be manipulated in a direction that doesn't give you any power anymore and then also it's like but why do we need to keep talking about my gender? Like, I just want to, yeah. I just want to make music. Sometimes you forget about that stuff because we're lucky enough to be supported and be around good people. Yeah. Like, no, I just it's really exciting. Yeah, I feel fully proud. Like, not even there's not I even. Feel proud. Feel really proud. Like <laughs> <you> did. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> live and so I moved out of their house. Um, it was nice to live there but then I decided it's time to hop across the inlet <laughs> and move to Main Street. So that's what I've done. Yeah well I go to school for composition. Um, I'm a music major at SFU and so that takes up a lot of my time. <laughs> I'm there like every day of the week. Um, I've been 
participating in Shindig for CITR. Shindig is cool because, I don't know, you get to play with bands that you would never normally play with or even know of necessarily. And so you get to meet these people and you get to play a show with them and it's kind of like, sometimes the music doesn't really like go together in the, in the way that, that like a traditional show lineup would. But I think that's what makes it so cool is that like, I love shows where there's just like a totally varied lineup. Like there's a punk band, there's like me, and there's like some singer songwriter or whatever. Like, that's awesome. I think that's so cool. Um, when I'm composing music, I love the part when I, I know that it's good. Like, when that just kind of clicks or like, it's not, maybe it's not necessarily good, but it's just like, it feels good to me. It fills me with like, optimism about what I'm making. I don't know, I kind of want people to to like leave a show that I've played feeling kind of confused, but in kind of a good way. <laughs> like I want them to be like, huh, that was weird. <laughs> like what just happened? And they have to kind of like talk about it. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, put that in there. <laughs> I've been working on, on the download, I've been kind of working on an album. Um, and I've, I have a whole track list and like all the songs pretty much written. I just need to like record it in my little house. And so I don't know when that'll come out. Maybe sometime this year. 